Hi, I'm Tim Alatori, Chief Operating Officer of Orbital Assembly, and today I'm excited to share with you a conversation I recently had with one of our investors, Aiden. And Aiden has invested in all three of our, our capital campaigns, and he was also at our D-Star event, our hardware demonstration that we had in Fontana last year. And today I'm excited to talk to Aiden about uh, why space, what got him into space, uh, the interest in space originally, and why he's investing and continues to invest in Orbital Assembly. And uh, just a reminder that this is not a solicitation or an offer to invest. Uh, we do have a capital campaign open. You can learn more at orbitalassembly.com slash invest. However, go there, learn the details, do your own due diligence, and understand the risks before making any financial decisions. And uh, with that, we'll jump into this uh, conversation. First off, just share a little bit about, like, who is Aiden? Why, why are you interested in space? What, what's, what's great about space? Well, my full name, as it says, in Hiroi Koichi. I, uh, I love computer science. I'm good with uh, C++ and Python. And uh, I, to answer why I'm interested in space, I've always had an interest ever since me and my mom went to NASA in first grade. Tell me about that. Like, what, uh, was, what impacted you there? Well, I actually got, I don't remember names. I don't remember specifics. But I remember I got to talk to somebody from JPL. I was talking to him about my uh, favorite dwarf planet at the time, which was uh, Make Make, if I'm saying that correctly. It's in the Kuiper Belt, a little bit further out than uh, Pluto. It's a little bit further out than Pluto. It's very small. It has about one or two moons, although it's hard to say because it's so far away. It has a very thin atmosphere, but they were only able to detect that on one occasion because it passed in front of a variable star. So you were there at NASA, you are able to talk with this individual about this dwarf planet, and that ignited something in you, some spark, to where you're like, wow, space, space is cool, I want to find some way to be involved. Is that basically what happened? That is 100% correct. Okay, awesome. So why, why do you think it's important for people to be in space? Well, I like to see it on the exploration side. I want to be able to see... My, my, I want myself and others to be able to see planets, moons, even asteroids, maybe even other solar systems eventually, like Alpha Centauri, maybe even uh, for, further out. Maybe we can even discuss, learn more about how black holes operate in deep space. Maybe we'll learn that white holes exist or don't exist. Maybe we'll learn more about wormholes. Are, are, are theories about them correct or are they incorrect? Yeah, I love that. So more, more on the... What is there to learn and, and the, the unknown of, of moving out in this space? So you, you've been uh, a supporter of ours for some time. I, th I think you've invested now in all three of our, our raises. Is I that have. correct? Yes, I have. And, and you were at our event in Fontana last year for the, the D-Star demonstration. So why orbital assembly? Why, why are you, uh, not only have you invested in the past, but why do you continue to invest and, and support Orbital Assembly? Well, I feel like I should give some background. It was the beginning of the pandemic. I really had not much to do with my time. So I started digging around at the, all these different aerospace companies, and only one of them stood out, Orbital Assembly Corporation. I liked, I liked, the, I liked the concept. It was unique and uh, realistic. I liked how the, it was presented by, it was presented and it was shown the visuals, how it was going to work, not just, okay, we have this, how are you going to get from point A to point B? How are you going to develop it? Who, in a way, who are you going to work with? For I think Rogue Space was a great partner, personally. But that's besides the point. But yeah, we I, love Rogue Space. Yeah, I really liked how... I really liked... And I really look to see, forward to see where this is going to go. Does that answer the question? Yeah, ab yeah absolutely. Absolutely. So, um, you know, in, uh, let's say, three, four, five years... Uh, we've got uh, Pioneer Station on orbit. Uh, do you want to go to space? Is that something that's... Uh... Absolutely. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I wasn't sure. You know, some people, like, they, they love it. They want to support it. But that's for somebody else to do eventually. But <laughs> but you'd like to actually be in space at some point and, and travel yeah. there and experience it. I, I hope in my lifetime I will be able to see Titan and Triton, which is the one is the moon of Saturn, which is Titan. And what is the moon of Neptune, which is Triton? Or one, I said that correctly, right? Titan, I'm the wrong Saturn, person. New, Neptune, Triton. Yep, that's correct. I was going to say, I don't have that memorized. I'm, I, I use uh, Google <laughs> to look that part of yeah. that stuff up. Well, but Aiden, I, I just want to, you know, on behalf of all of 
the Orbital Assembly team, um, you know, Rhonda, Jeff, Eric, Tom, uh, Frank, Julian, uh, Jeff, I'm missing some people, plus all of our advisors, uh, you know, just a big thank you for your support. And uh, you're, you're actually, you know, somebody who's been on our calls and you've asked great questions. I was actually just talking with Jeff and Eric the other day about um, how they, they like how you approach what we're doing and the questions you ask. And they were saying, we need to be more like Aiden, like Aiden, you know, he's got this kind of, uh, this, uh, way of asking questions that, uh, you know, really gets us thinking. And so just, you know, thank you for all, from all of us for, for what you do to support us. And, uh, we look forward. I hope you enjoy that conversation with Aiden. He's such a pleasure to talk to. We've actually met a few times and just his energy and excitement about space is uh, contagious. And Thank he always you. has very really thought questions that uh, really get our, our team thinking about the big picture of, of why space and why it's important. If you'd like to learn more about Orbital Assembly and investing in us, feel free to go to orbitalassembly.com slash invest. You can learn all the details about our cur current capital campaigns and also sign up for updates for future information. And uh, as always, follow us on our social media platforms and subscribe to us on YouTube for updates. And uh, I look forward to meeting you or talking to you in person at some point in the future. Thanks so much.